guys, welcome back to Undefeated at Locals, Marvin Redger, and you already know what we're here for. Team Urameshi, it's the boys, the entire reason the show exists. We're going to be going over where these guys are going to be heading into the dark tournament of the trading card game. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. We're going to show you the protagonist first. Both A, for that protagonist energy, and B, this character is not very good, guys, and neither is it. So we're going to get the <laughs> negative part out of the video real quick. Yeah, so right off the top, we got Yusuke Team Leader on Team Urameshi. Uh, he is a 7-hand, 22-health character. He says, Enhanced Commit, Discard One Card. You may try to play one card with the word Spirit in its name from your discard pile as your next card this turn. Remove it when it leaves your card pool. Then he's got Enhanced Tenacious. If this attack shares at least two symbols with your character, it gets plus one speed and plus one damage. What are we thinking? It sounds okay, right? Like, the abilities for sure sound okay. They sound really bad when you realize how unimpactful the spirit cards are, right? Yeah. Like, you'll realize how bad this character is once you get into his kit. Um, but being a 7-hand, 22-health character that, again, doesn't really have... He has neither an offensive nor a really big defensive ability. And, yeah, I just don't think it meshes up very well, right? Yeah, the Tenacious plus one plus one, especially since it, it severely limits your deck building You have to run Yusuke's entire yeah. kit, right, basically? Yeah, you have to run his kit, and you get a little bit of Genkai. Yep, and that's it. And yeah. That's it, yeah. Yep. So him being pigeonholed, I, he's a mess. Yep, I agree. Next up, we have his five diff, double spirit blast. Blast him! Um, this is a plus two mid block, four mid for six, echo range, and it says enhance your rival's block modifier gets plus one this turn. Modifiers get plus one this turn. Uh, that alone is good. Yeah, 100%. This has huge, so anyway, I started blasting energy, <laughs> yeah. and I love it. This card's very, very sick. The fact that, that, like, I love that this isn't like a static or like anything else, right? We get to use this enhance twice when we echo it. Yeah. So, like, you're just not blocking anything after I echo this move. Like, exactly. That's crazy. Uh, we got his six diff. Uh, plus zero high block, spirit gun mega, powerful four charge and range, enhance, discard one card, add one card from your discard pile to your hand, so it tutors anything that you want, and then enhance, if this attack deals damage, draw two cards. Uh, this is a six diff that checks a two. What are we feeling about this guy? So this guy, we've been back and forth on this we guy We have, a lot. A lot. Um, I very much initially was like, uh, the six checks a two is rough, the stats are great, uh, but then I, I, I leaned into what it can do for you, uh, and I, I think you started to see that later as well. Yeah, for sure. This is a pretty good card, honestly. Being able to tutor anything you want is pretty good, and if it deals, you're drawing two cards. Uh, and in certain characters, with certain symbols, this always deals, right? Yeah, 100%. Uh, one of our team members, uh, Clones V. Martin, uh, he brought it to my attention that Recovery Girl gets to use this very well, instead of like a lot of other characters of that of a similar nature. Uh, so initially we were on a miss on this guy, and then we were undecided. I now think we're both kind of leaning towards this guy's just a huge hit. Yeah, like two two checks are finally becoming powerful again. Mm -hmm. Like they're worth running. This guy is no different. It in it, it, it tutor anything is an insane enhance. Yeah. Uh. So hit here, and. Unfortunately, let's get into the rest of the kit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this will be the the one that you just can't get. What do we got here? So we have his four diff with a plus two high block. This is a four low for three spirit uppercut. It says punch and it says enhance. This attack is plus one damage for each card with the spirit with the word spirit in its name in your card pool. So we've seen two good spirit cards. Yeah, absolutely. But that is where the it, buck stops. Yep, 100%. There's just not enough of that in the format. Nobody else is going to care, right? Nobody except Genkai and Yusuke are going to care about Spirit Tribal. Yeah. And yeah, this just makes this card a huge miss, right? Like, yeah, this is going to be a 4 low for 4 every time you play it. Yeah, probably if it may as well be one of your blank draft cards. Yeah. <laughs> 
What do we got next? We got another four diff. I do love that. Don't get me wrong. We've got a lot of four diffs here. Plus two low. Yusuke Spirit Wave. And that's where I'm going to stop talking. Because this guy just has Breaker 2. Breaker 2 is the same, UVS Games. That is the same as Powerful and EX. That is not a real card. I'll give you the foundation, too. <laughs> yeah. Two diff, plus two high block, breaking the cuffs, enhance, destroy, discard one card. Your attack gets plus three speed and plus three damage. This is an undecided one, right? Yeah, so I, I like this card, actually. Um, The cost is huge, but the effect is huge. This is a game-ending card, I believe. Like, you're not supposed to... You play this out early, sure. And just sit on and it. And sit on it until you know you're going to destroy your opponent with it. Um... I think this lands very well in that slot. Yeah, respect that. I can definitely see where you're coming from. I just think it's, like, too heavily costed. The fact that it destroys itself and discards a card, I'd probably be more in if either one of these things was taken away or, like, it just destroyed X Foundation. But I could also see where that would be, like, a power level issue. So it's going to be a miss for me, but a hit for Edgar. So let us know in the comments what you think of Breaking the Cuffs. Yeah. Next up. So I was so stoked on this card because my stupid brain uh, saw this picture and I was like, oh man, Keiko's Aid. I loved Keiko's Aid. This is not Keiko's Aid. Yeah, yeah. We would have had another hit if that was the case. Uh, we got Keiko's Support instead, which is <laughs> much less in, uh, involved in what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It says, uh, it's an ally card. It says, enhance commit. The next card you try to play this turn that shares two or more symbols with your character gets minus two difficulty or minus two to its block modifier. And... Again, if it, if it just didn't say two or more symbols... Symbols, yeah. We we have plenty of cards like this. The Rappa card, now the, uh, the Vash card. We have cards that do this almost same exact thing. Sure, this gives minus two to the block modifier, but that's actually just minus one speed, and that is irrelevant right now. Yeah. Um, checks a four, and yeah, it's just locked, right? It's a pretty basic ability that's locked behind sharing two symbols. Yeah. And we saw it with, like, the All Might Foundation, right? Yeah, but for sure. that set your block mod to, to zero. zero. Yeah, that was actually minus three and four sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, I think this one's going to be a miss. I agree. Next up. We got another spam, resting up, plus three low block, enhanced commit. This attack gets minus two speed. If your character's committed, it gets minus three instead. What are we feeling? So, I would love to say this. Uh, again, we, we've said this before. Oh, this is just specialized. It's not just specialized. The <laughs> bonus comes from your character being committed. And since, like, characters that commit themselves, especially in this set, are, are guys like Yusuke, who are generally not that strong, this is just a bad card. Yeah, 100%. I, I currently play as actually zero characters that want to end their turn committed. I... There's plenty of characters that don't want to end their turn committed. Yeah, I do not think we'll, we'll see this guy in play. This is a miss. And then his last card here. Uh, this is a zero diff spam with a plus three mid block on it. While I greatly enjoy the artwork they chose, it has... It, 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 Spirit Beast Boo just has a static. After you block this card, build it committed. Um, would be really cool. It's a plus three mid block. That can get rough. Yeah, for sure. If your first opponent's attack is a high, like a 7 high, you're not blocking with this. Nope, absolutely. If it's a 6 low, you're not blocking with this. Yep. If it's a 7 mid, which we've seen plenty of, oh, yeah. you're still not blocking with this. Yep, nope, um, yeah. Yeah, you may, you may, like, I guess you could block and commit out for it, and then this just builds committed. Like, you've gained nothing. You blocked one attack gone up one foundation and then and are now about to get blasted for for the sins you've tried to commit yeah uh, I, I mean if this if this card had any other text on it if it had breaker one hundred yeah, percent zero zero diff six that breaker one somebody yeah, yeah we've seen and, that and then builds mean, itself committed possibly yeah. Yeah. yeah but without anything else yeah this is a miss yep i agree that kit was very unfortunate. We wanted to get that out of the way first. We looked at it and we're like, we can't end the video with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, let us know if you guys have different opinions, but yeah, let us know what you think about Yusuke. But yeah, we're not we're not sold. Moving on, we're gonna get into Genkai's kit. Um, there was a lot of buzz about Genkai again when she first revealed, and like I think a lot of people were super stoked on her. 
Uh, what do we have? Yeah, so we got another 610, 27 health character. We have enhanced if this attack deals damage, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is an attack, add it to your hand. And then we have enhanced discard one card. This attack gets plus X or minus X damage at minimum one. X equals the block modifier of the discarded card. Uh, there was a lot of stuff, like, especially, again, in our community Discord, there's a lot of talks about this being, like, basically Ryukyu, and I am just not seeing it, right? Well, so, I the, the way I see it, this is basically Ryukyu, it's just bad Ryukyu. Bad Ryukyu, Ryukyu yeah, Ryukyu always exactly. draws the card, she sometimes draws the card. Yep. Ryukyu always gets plus four damage, she, she usually gets plus two damage. Yeah, she hopefully never gets plus four damage, why are we running the bad one? Yeah, like, it, it's a deck where deck building really leans towards building a bad deck. Yeah, 100%. It is the same exact thing with whatever All Might that they directly copied this character from is, mm -hmm. right? There's an All Might out there that is literally the same symbols, the same health total, the same hand size with the same basic ability. And being forced to run bad block modifiers in your deck is honestly one of the worst decisions that you can make defensively. Yeah, so we're just not going to see her play. This is a miss. Yep. Next up, we have a 4 diff, Absorbed Energy Spirit Strike. This is a plus 2 high block. It says, response, after you block this card, flip the blocked attack after it resolves, add the top card of your deck to your momentum, and then enhance... If your rival discards one, mom uh, your rival discards one momentum. This attack is plus X damage. X equals the difficulty of the discarded momentum. Real quick, this th they this is just an answer to Ryukyu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sure is. Absolutely, they're just trying to be adding more flip targets for sure, which is not bad, right? It's definitely something the format needs, and I think because of that, this is like probably a pretty decent card right yeah it's a hit the, the damage is kind of low like the the four mid for three is kind of rough but that's not what you're playing this for right yeah 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 um, you're definitely playing it for it's on block response it's a really yeah. good block modifier and, for and it sometimes it's an attack yep absolutely yeah it's gonna be a hit next up what do we got we got a five diff we got a plus two low block genkai spirit gun powerful three enhance if this attack is not completely blocked add one card from your discard pile to the top of your deck and genkai enhance change this attack zone to high or low how are we feeling here um genkai spirit gun right i'm not the biggest fan of this five diff. yeah i completely agree um the stats on it are good yeah uh powerful is nice the but like if it's not completely blocked like your enhanced usually doesn't do anything and then like we said genkai is not super going to be played nope yeah if this was like not locked behind genkai if this just said change this attack zone to low for mm -hmm. instance i think this would be a probably pretty huge hit yeah it, it could have another cost discard yep. one card changes attack yep. zone to low and not see it being played yeah as but, it is now nah yeah you're not see gonna this. see a five diff that's just a mid that does nothing exactly yeah up we have genkai spirit shotgun this is another five diff with a plus three mid block say three mid for five it's got ranged on it and it says first enhance if this attack matches two or more symbols on your character it gains throw and then enhance look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back in any order uh yeah this is just fair actual spirit shotgun right yeah if you if 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 you built your deck in a way that you can guarantee the first enhance like quite a few characters would be able to do then this you just run this card, right? You just run Spirit yeah, Shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, the, the first enhance... Gaining throw is huge on this. You, you're just doing three damage now, and then yep. doing a little bit of the Jiro magic, looking at the top two cards and rearranging. Yep, you never um, want to jam this into a deck that doesn't share two or more symbols. Yeah, like, never that, do that. That is the one good enhance on it, for sure. But, yeah, it's honestly super solid, as long as you're able to give it throw. Yeah, so that'll be a hit. All right, guys, this is a four diff that has one word, and you you did it, UVS Games. You fucking got me, because this one's great. We got a four diff, two mid block. This guy is a two low for four with throw. <laughs> Super simple, guys. Yeah. Uh, the throw keyword on there is enough to make people want to play it. 100%. Um, I want to jam this card and everything. Such a sick little poke turn. Like Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not super complex, and sometimes you just get the 4 or X damage because it's a low. Yeah, 100%. Like, this is just like, did you have a low block? Yeah. You only hold it high? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this one's gonna be a hit. It's not super spicy, it's not super unique, but it... But yeah, you'll see it played for sure. Exactly. Everybody wants throw attacks. 
Getting right into the foundations here. What do we got? We've got a two diff with a plus three mid block called Borrowed Energy. This uh, foundation says enhance flip. If your rival has one or more momentum, add the top card of your deck to your momentum, and then enhance, discard one momentum. This attack gets plus X damage. X equals its block modifier. What do we think we got here? I'm not a big fan of this guy, right? Like, I'm not sure... Like, sure, gain momentum, that's kind of cool, but, like, we've already seen so much in this set that does it. We've seen it in other sets that do a similar effect that doesn't just require us to be running a plus three mid block. Yeah. Like, not super in on this guy. Same. Uh, it's it's just too bland. You're if Flipping to gain a momentum when your opponent has a momentum can sometimes be turn altering but not by much yeah uh, especially after you know your opponent has hit you in the face four times for you to, <laughs> to gain that one, one momentum. momentum yeah uh and then the discard one momentum again the using block modifiers as your damage like this is such, such a small bump for a discard one momentum i'd rather run a powerful three <laughs> yep yeah it's either a terror like it's either a terrible bump or you're jamming so many fours in your deck that you're just going to lose anyway exactly Next up, we have a two diff, Glimpses of the Past. Uh, this is a plus two low block. It says, Enhance Commit. This attack gets minus X speed. X equals the block modifier of the top card of your discard pile. <laughs> uh, yeah, once again, using your block modifier is just not good, right? Yeah. This should be Enhance Commit. This attack gets minus one speed. Yeah. That's where you would want this yeah. card to be in your deck. As a matter of fact, there is a world where the top card of your deck is a plus zero, so is it your opponent's attack is plus one. Speed. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, dude. So, <laughs> yeah, no, this card's a huge miss for me. There's no way this is ever going off the way you want it to. Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat. Next up, two diff plus four mid block because we have to have them. I'm old, Yusuke. Enhance, destroy, add one card with spirit in its name from your card pool to your momentum or the top of your deck. How are we feeling about this one? If the spirit in its name lineup was better... It would be insane, right? Yeah. 100%. It just isn't. There, there's a few good cards in there. Uh, like, enough to maybe run a whole deck, but just don't. Yeah, like, just I, I'm don't not, do that. Like, I, obviously, I'm going to do it at Locals because I build every deck at Locals. Yeah, for sure. But this, from a competitive standpoint, just is not strong enough to be used. I agree. I very much agree. Yeah. And moving on to his, uh, the last foundation in Ginkai, we have the final test. This is a one diff with a plus three high block. It says form flip. If you have discarded a card this combat phase, draw one card. This one's one of those ones where if you have the ability to discard a card, yeah, it's yeah, good. If you if you're if your deck building has guaranteed that or like all but guaranteed it, it it's a fine spam, right? Yeah, this is uh, again a, a flip to draw one is just perfectly fine. Yep. That's it for Genkai's kit. Next up, we'll be moving into Hiei, the Dragon Within. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended, indeed. Uh, so this guy's a 629. Uh, his Enhanced Tenacious, lose one health. This attack gets plus one or minus two speed. Looking very similar to other characters we've had that have been very good. Absolutely. Uh, then Response Commit, after your rival plays a block, seal, the dis seal and discard it. Return this attack to its printed speed and damage. And they may try to block this attack a second time. What do you think here? That response is a whole lot of text that they're probably going to have to fix. Because timing is a little weird on it. But as soon as they do and he works properly, this character is super solid, right? Yeah. Lose one health for minus two or plus one speed is like the the most fun I've ever had with characters is like some like Toga one things, right? Where we're losing health to like try to gain gain stat advantage. I think that's a very, very fun gameplay loop. And then telling your asking your rival, oh, you had a high block, but did you have two? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially after, so this is one of the trolliest characters, because some of your attacks, they're going to have to work hard to get it down to a blockable range. Absolutely. They're going to try and block it, and you say, no, but do it again at printed speed. Yeah, and then if you're ever on the, your opponent, if you're ever on Hiei's kill turn, 
and they play the attack that can kill you, and you have one card in hand that's just GG's. And I think that's absolutely hilarious. Yeah. Like, what an insane ability to have to be like, oh, you had the perfect block, but, like, what if you had zero cards in hand now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, no, this is, you definitely have to find answers for him. Yeah, uh, for so sure. That's going to be a hit for us. Yep, absolutely. Getting into his attacks, we've got a 3-diff, 2-mid block, bamboo, training slash, fury weapon, enhanced, discard 1 momentum. This attack gets plus 2 speed and plus 2 damage. How are we feeling here? Uh, It's got big 3-diff energy on it. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is like back to like set 1 3-diffs. Outside of, like, sound waves, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Needing a momentum to make this viable is rough. If it was, like, destroy a foundation or discard a card, I could see it being useful. Yeah. And its momentum out just makes it, like, a normal fortif, right? Yeah. Like, they're, sure they're just going to block it at a discard a momentum cost? Crazy. Yeah. Big miss. Next up, we have, and Marvin specifically <laughs> told me that this one had to be a hit for its name alone. <laughs> Oh, and it does. I'm not wrong. Tell him the name. Double Fists of the Mortal Flame <laughs> is a four diff, three high for four. It says, first enhance, lose two health. Add the top card of your deck to your momentum. This attack loses echo. By the way, this has echo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, At first, I wasn't really feeling it. The lose two health was rough, uh, especially in the decks that I saw running this. But it is very good. And like and he, he himself especially and in a lot of other decks, uh if you don't if you can't pay the echo cost, at least it does something. Yeah, for sure. Both of its abilities like like it, it, they enable their own degeneracy, right? Which is like why I love this attack so much. Like you can play this on turn two to just buy your momentum just like Jiro did with like Comet, right? Yeah. Like this is Comet where you lose two health. Um and once again, they did it again. This card also could have been blank, but you get to double fist your opponent. You yeah. would have been fine with that. <laughs> but yeah, the card's super solid. I think it's a it's a hit. Moving along to his ultra rare. Yeah. Five diff Dragon of the Darkness Flame. This is like his ultimate move, right? Plus one mid block, powerful three, stun one, charge and range. Has a static. After you play this attack, lose two health. This cannot reduce your health below one. I fucking love that static so much <laughs> and then enhance if you have 10 or less health you may discard up to three cards from your hand as though they were momentum to pay for this attack's powerful cost it does check a two guys how are we feeling here so it is definitely a game ending attack right like that is the point of this attack is yeah for sure your opponent's life uh the big problem i have with it is you have to play this card this has to be a guaranteed kill yeah, like it if sure it, does. If you play this and it does is not a guaranteed kill, you die next yep. turn. Uh, because you're already less than ten health. You're losing two more to pay to play this card at all. Yep. Um. Yeah, and, and you're discarding your hand to give it whatever damage you need. Yeah. If your opponent's <clears throat> answer to this, you're done. Hundred uh, percent. So I just don't see this all or nothing mechanic being played very much. I agree. I wish this static had been printed on like a slightly better attack because I think the static is like super super neat for this character. But everything else about the card is yeah pretty bad. It's gonna be a miss. Next up, we get Sword of the Darkness Flame. This is a four diff with a plus one low block. It's a four mid for four. It's a charge weapon that says enhance lose one health. This attack gets plus one damage and gains stun one. And then enhance, if you have 10 or less health, draw one card and gain two health. What are we thinking here? I'm thinking it's pretty bad, right? This is, like, not the card. This is not the attack I want to play when I'm at 10 or less, right? I'm at 10 or less, and that's telling me I'm, I'm wanting to end my opponent's entire career mm -hmm. in this one turn. And I do not think that a 4 mid for 5 is going to uh, be what enables that from happening. So Yeah, exactly. It, it's... Having to lose one health when you're already under 10 is rough. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's just not going to get anywhere that you want to play this card late game and it doesn't have late game abilities. It's a miss. Very much so. What do we got next? Next up, two diff, two mid block. I am the dragon. Response, commit, lose one health. After your attack is not blocked, it gets two damage. What are we thinking about this guy? Uh, Good. So this yeah. one, the lose one health, is a guaranteed 
thing, right? I, I'm giving this two damage. You, you, this, this has already done its thing, and this is happening now. Exactly. So on a on a two diff foundation, I think this is great. It's a hit. Yeah, absolutely repeatable, super sick. Next up, we got another two diff with a plus two low block, mastering the dragon. This card says enhance remove. If you have lost four or more health this turn, draw two cards. Um, this is a very easy draw two card. Hundred percent. Like this is just draw two and he right. Yeah. Like we're absolutely going to burn four health every turn. <laughs> exactly. And honestly, and mo like can you win a game without taking four damage? Yeah. Yep. Um, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent. This is not your turn, right? Yeah. Every other character can use this as just a draw two on your opponent's turn. Like, exactly. Super, super sick. Uh, so yeah, that one's going to definitely be a hit as well. Next up, got a one diff plus three mid block, paying the cost. I love that name. That's hilarious. Enhanced, lose one health. Your attack gets plus one damage. This card is just good, right? Yeah. This is just the freest plus one damage in the world. It's brute strength again, right? Yeah, absolutely. Strength, it doesn't get the destroy effect, but the lose one health. Yeah, that's that's a sick part of that card, and now it's on a one diff. So exactly. Yeah, it's a hit. And his last foundation is another one diff, plus three high block, unmatched quickness. This card says enhance if you have ten or less health. This attack gets plus one or minus one speed. Uh. Initially, I thought this was pretty bad. Then I realized it was repeatable. Yeah, absolutely. This is, again, just free in this character, free in a lot of characters. And, yeah, just a super, super sick card. This lets you, like, kind of buy back a free turn sometimes, right? All of your yeah. attacks have minus one speed, so, like, maybe I can block them now. Exactly. And, yeah, if you, it, it's not unique. So if you have two or three on the board... Yeah, your opponent's going to have a really poor time. Yeah, it just really slows down the end of that game for you to catch back up. That's the end of Hiei. What are we getting into? Karama now? Uh, yeah, our next card is going to be Karama, Yoku Unleashed. What do we got here? We got Kurama, another 7-hander, 20 health character, but finally a nutso one. Response, commit, remove one character card from your stage. After your rival plays an attack or action, discard it from their card pool and cancel its effects absolutely just game altering and then we have enhanced your attack your rival adds the top card of their deck to their card pool face down farewell tongue whip i am so glad that this <laughs> character will never see that attack so yeah what are we thinking about this guy uh he's a three diff character so you're meant to play him but we'll get to his kit in a minute and see that you don't necessarily have to do that yeah absolutely. so you're gonna have a ton of karamas in your stage at some point uh this is nuts. Yeah, this character's is... insane. Adding a card to your card pool on every one of your moves is just like one of the most negative play experience enhancements I've ever heard of in my life. Again, thank God he doesn't get sticky balls and tongue whip, but he yeah. sure gets a lot more that does the thing that we're going to get into. This character's yeah. a huge hit. And like we said earlier with other 720s, like you need to have some kind of defense on your face and to survive. And he sure does. Just delete a move. Yep. So hit, hit all around. Moving on, we got Ojigi Plant Grasp. This is a 5 diff with a plus 3 mid block. It's a 3 mid for 5. It's got ally and throw. And then enhance, if your rival has one or more cards in their card pool, which they will, the attack gets plus two damage. So this is a three mid for seven. Yeah, so this is just nuts, right? Like, three mid for seven. If you want to put another card in your card pool, I guess eat four. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hits all around again. Uh, and I'm definitely going to be seeing this card in a lot of my decks moving. Oh, forward. yeah, yeah. It's a throw. It is a throw. What, what do we got next? Next up, a 4 diff plus 2 low block, Ojigi planned strike. Enhance if this attack is not blocked, your rival loses 2 health. And enhance, discard more momentum, search your deck and discard battle for one copy of your starting character and build it. And of course it has ally, they all do. What are we thinking about this guy? This guy's going to be sick in exactly 2 decks, uh, twice and... Uh, the one you're looking Karama. at? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, so I think it's going to be a hit. Because, yeah, for because, sure. Because, not necessarily because of Chess. Karama's going to be a hit. Yep, so this card is this card does its thing, right? You, mm -hmm. you get to play this, and your opponent now is like, man, one of my moves is getting deleted. Sure is. Uh, uh, so easy hit. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, we have his ultra rare, Rose Whip Barrage. Oh, yeah. This is a four diff. Plus two mid block, 
five high for three. It says ally and echo. And then it says enhance. If your rival has two or more cards in their card pool, this attack gets plus three damage, which they will. Yeah. And enhance if this attack deals three or more damage. Search your deck, discard pile, or remove from game pile. That's the huge part. It sure is. For one copy of your starting character and build it. Bonkers. Insane. Yeah. Again, nothing much has to be said about this. This card is absolutely nuts. You get to do this twice. You get to echo it. You're <laughs> never having attacks, guys. All of them are getting deleted, and now we just have to live with yeah, that. Yeah, this has big Dijonette vibes, and I'm all over it. Yeah. What do we got next? We got a 5 diff plus 1 high block twin rose toss ally combo attack. This guy's a 4 high for 5. Combo enhanced, your rival adds the top card of their deck to their card pool face down. Because of course they do. We, we Why wouldn't we reprint Tongue Whip, right? Exactly. Uh, so, this guy, he's good on his face, but like the five, the fact that it's a 5 it's diff. It's a 6 diff? Yeah, it's yeah. a 6 diff. Yeah. And you don't need to do this effect again nope you've already yeah. done it at least once yeah, yeah. Th th this is just putting three cards into their card pool on a six diff you don't you don't need that this may as well just be a four diff where you don't commit out for it yeah th this could have been a blank four diff <laughs> yep yeah absolutely hundred percent yeah so this is going to be like one of the only misses in his attack lineup the only miss in yeah the only lineup. miss in his attack lineup moving along we have uh his first foundation it's a two diff with a plus two low block demon plants it's got ally it's got enhanced commit choose one ally attack in your card pool that card does not count towards progressive difficulty for the rest of this turn card's insane this card uh Ed, like you were you you took a little bit of convincing but like when you think about what symbols this guy shares with all of the pigeon cards in the format this card is just nuts i've watched uh the Community member Disaster Dan, another fellow content creator. I've watched this guy on stream use this card to like great effect to just make his entire string of attacks not count towards progressive difficulty. Um, it, it, absolutely an insane card. Yeah, so it, this basically gives you uh, huge extend potential. Yeah, on rolling a character plus that's... ones plus ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's really good. I was originally locked up on the ally lock keyword, but plenty of allies alone, in his kit. Plus yep. what you get elsewhere. Yeah, this is definitely a hit. Next up, we got a zero diff plus two eye block demonic teamwork. Also an ally enhanced flip. Your ally attack gets plus one speed or plus one damage. What are we thinking about this guy? Uh, so the zero diff is pretty cool. The, the effect on it is pretty pretty decent for a spam um it's not too strong i think it, it lands where it needs to land yeah yeah fair fair i'm thinking kind of the same thing honestly i was kind of leaning towards miss on this guy but it does have a plus two high block on a zero diff like that's it probably has a fine effect for a zero diff yeah it, it, it's 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 got similar usability in a deck as, as something like it can't be fixed. Right? Yeah, for sure. It does, like, a thing pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think this so. guy's a hit for, for another zero diff being added to the to the game yeah. here. Next up, Legendary Bandit. This guy's a three diff, two mid block, unique. Response, commit, your turn. After your rival adds a face down card to their card pool, your rival adds the top card of their deck to their card pool face down. Because, again, why wouldn't they? Let's just have seven cards in your card pool on your first attack. And then enhance destroy if this attack deals damage, draw two cards. It will, because they have seven cards in their card pool. Yeah. Uh, a bonkers card. Yeah. Uh, insane. Like, finally, we get, like, we've had a few three diffs that just didn't hold their water. This one, this one's the entire boat. Absolutely. I completely agree. This is like truly the power level that a three diff should have. It's unique. Thank God. <laughs> but yeah, super insane. Huge hit and huge hit for like his kit all around. His kit has just been banger after banger. Yeah. Speaking of banger after banger, we have the last card in his foundation lineup. It is a spam with a plus three mid block. Yoko form. Enhance destroy if there's an ally card in your card pool, which there will be. Yep. Ready one foundation that has not been ready this combat phase. Yeah. Insane. Like, we get to ready the thing that says al this ally attack ignores, right? Mm -hmm. That's, like, probably the best use case for the scenario in this in this hard-locked kit. 
there's tons of great use case scenarios outside of his kit, right? So many foundations that commit themselves as costs that he gets to use again. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Uh, so that ends it for Karama's kit. Overall, very, very good in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. One of the most solid, just well-rounded kits. Next up, we have the last character for Team Urameshi, Kuwabara Spirited Warrior. He should be last. Man, <laughs> Kuwabara, the most iconic character in Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, so the Pompadour returns with his uh, 5 hand, 33 health. Uh, he's got response after your non-throw attack deals damage. Build one foundation from your discard pile that shares two or more symbols with this character. Then enhance, commit one foundation. This attack gets minus one damage. This enhance is playable any number of times, this enhance step. And finally, enhance, if you have 15 or less health, your attack gets plus three damage. What are you thinking here? I think he's, like, fine, right? I'm not, like, he, he's perfectly fine. I think people will find ways to jam this character. I just don't think he's enough for a, his five hand size, like, capabilities, right? He's not really doing anything that like buys me buys me attacks, right? Like that's the biggest problem that five handers have, and he is just a five hand size character. Yeah, there's nothing that says we're drawing additional cards. We're giving stats, sure, but like that didn't matter for Nomu sometimes, and Nomu gave a whole lot more stats than this. He sure did, uh, and his defense was much better. Yeah, for sure. This guy's best defense is like. When he builds the 15, you have to have more than 15 damage in your hand, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, if you really want to touch him. Nomu said commit one for minus 15 A million? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, so, miss, like, I think people are going to play him, but I don't yeah. think he poses a, a huge threat nope. to the metal. Yeah, I think you're just going to count to 33 health most of the time. Next up, we have Bindi, or sorry. Next up, what do we got? We've got a 5 diff. Two mid block bending blade weapon. Uh, this guy is a five mid for six. Enhance if you have not dealt damage this turn, change the zone of this attack. Enhance this attack cannot be partially blocked. What are we feeling here? Uh, I think this is a huge hit. Yeah, uh, I agree. As a five diff, you're going to be playing this first, so you will not have dealt damage. So this gets to be whatever zone you want it to be, in, and with a good bit of insight. This becomes unblockable. Yep, 100%. Yeah, a good read on your opponent on what they built turn one, turn two. You're going to rock their world with your first attack. So, yeah. Yeah, hit there. Moving on. We have a four diff with a plus one high block, three high for three, desperate slash. This is a fury weapon. It's got a static. If you have ten or less health, this attack gets minus one difficulty and plus one damage. And then it's got Enhance, mill three. This attack gets plus one speed and plus one damage for each foundation milled this way. What are you thinking about this? This guy's insane, right? This is, like, most likely, like, some somewhere, like, around, like, a five high for something. Sometimes, like, a six high for something. Card's absolutely insane, I think. Same. Uh, yeah, it starts out really good with its, stat, uh, with its own stat, like, built-in stat increase. And it's static uh, if it's if you are on that 10 or less health. So you don't have to be at 10 or less health for this yeah. one to be good. But if you are, it It's is. a 3 diff with 1 damage added? Yeah, insane. Definitely a hit there. Next up, 4 diff. We got a plus 2 low block dimension sword. 3 mid for 4, breaker 1. Enhance, mill 3. Add 1 weapon attack, mill no sway to your hand. Edgar could never... And enhance, choose one foundation in your stage. This attack gets plus one speed for each symbol that foundation shares. What are we thinking? You better count your lucky stars that Juro One rotate yeah, out. Yeah, true, true, man. Absolutely. Being able to just add the weapons, bro, insane. Yeah, I would have loved to see this card uh, while Juro was still in competitive format. And, you know, when Retro comes back, you know, I'm going to have a playset of this ready to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like with most URs, I think this card's very good, right? Yeah, like, this is a mil super good hit. This is just stun grenade, but for weapons instead of furies, that can't be bad. Yeah, e exactly. And also, it gives itself, gives itself speed. So yeah, exactly. Next up, we have another 4 diff, plus 1 mid block, 3 low for 4. I wish th this artwork is hilarious. The card is garbage. Yep, absolutely. Like, I'm so disappointed that every kit has one of these draft cards. 
You could have done something way, way more sick with your draft. Yeah. Not yeah. going to get into it. It's just a miss. Uh, next up, we've got Double Sword Style. This is a two diff with a plus three mid block. It's got two responses on it. The first one says, response once per turn, tenacious. After this foundation is committed due to a cost, this attack gets plus one or minus one damage. And then response flip. After you play your second attack this turn, draw one card. What do you think here? Probably not good enough for a two diff plus three mid block, right? It yeah. says draw, like only draw one card after you play the second attack. And it's response tenacious is once per turn just i mean obviously it's going to commit itself but yeah not good enough yeah uh, i i don't yeah i don't feel anything about this card having to play if it was if it just said enhance flip draw one card yeah it would be for in the sure. same boat as so many everything others. else yeah but, but like you have to play two attacks like sometimes you just don't get there so yeah far. absolutely especially in a five hand size character next up what do we got we got a one diff two mid block kind hearted and this guy just has a response. After you build this card, reveal the top card of your deck. You may discard one card. If you do, draw one card. What do we feel here? Uh, it's a great loot. After you build this, you get to loot. That's all it's Yeah, says. super sick. Going into your opponent's spam. turn, we get to like, like trade a plus three mid-block for a plus one mid-block maybe. Absolutely just super well-rounded for a yeah. spam. Yeah. yeah. Definitely a hit there. Next up, we have his three diff. It's a plus two high block. This card is the Power of Love. Uh, it's got Ally on it. It's got Response Tenacious Destroy. After your rival plays a non-character ability that cancels your Enhance or Response ability, cancel its effects. So you cancel the cancel. I love that. Yeah, same. I love note cards. <laughs> and then Enhance Commit, Seal One Rival, Evil, uh, Death, or Void Foundation. What are you thinking here? I think this card's nuts, right? We've talked about it before in this set. We've seen some like Irrefutable Force type of abilities here. We're seeing that again, this time for Death, Evil, and Void. And it's, again, it's it's nope response is super funny and also, like, very, very useful in some cases. Yeah. yeah I think this is a hit. Same. Perfect hit right there. We're going to see that in a lot of kits. And his last foundation, what do we got here? We got Thinking on the Fly. We have a 2 diff, plus 2 low block, response flip. After your attack is blocked, your next attack gets plus 3 speed. This guy's pretty solid, right? Yeah. Uh, the response speed allows you to use it whenever you whenever want. you want. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to guess. Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah, so definitely a great card. Uh, the last one in his kit. His kit was all almost all bangers. There were yeah. very few misses in there. Yep. Um, he himself is like, again, probably a fine character. We're going to rate him as a miss, but... It's Kuwabara. The guy's iconic, so like saying that you won't see him is probably just an outright lie. It, exactly. Somebody is going to be jamming Kuwabara. He is somebody's favorite character. He is millions of people's favorite character. Yeah. So yeah, all around, um, the team Urameshi has been really, really solid as they should be, right? Yeah. Both final like finalist teams, very, very themed with their power levels too, which is exactly, super cool yeah. to see. So Overall, that is all of the kits revealed now. Yeah, all yeah. We're waiting on are a few retro reprints, which we may show you over this weekend while they do the HLC. If yeah, they reveal if them. they reveal them. And um, five SRs, five, five secret SRs, rares. Yeah, which, you know, could make or break some of these kits. You know, we'll yeah. let you know when we see those. 100%. Yeah, you should be able to check out their official stream. Hopefully, they'll be revealing those guys. Next time that you'll see Marvin and Edgar with the Undefeated Locals boys, We'll be doing some videos for the HLC. We'll also be collaborating on a video with the Chamber to discuss the entire set as a whole. Um, so far, it's looking pretty solid, though. Yeah, uh, I'm enjoying everything we've done. Thank you guys for joining us through this long-ass video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Team Urameshi. Uh, we'll put in some timestamps. That way you guys can guide yeah. your way through the characters. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.